Hey, good morning, guys. It's the morning before the opener. Um, doing a little scouting this morning. Trying to find out where the birds are at. Well, I kind of know where they're at on my property. Um, but I'm just taking a listen here from the road and get an idea which way they're going. And that way, um, come tomorrow morning, we're going to try and intercept them um, from where they roost, where we know they roost, to, uh, to where they're going in the morning. So, um, so I'm out here doing and then after that I'm going to take a ride around uh, the, the section and area here and see if I can pick up some other birds that we might have the ability to uh, to get on and hunt uh, tomorrow morning. Well it looks like I found out which way they're going. Um, see Big Tom over there strutting. So it looks like they're definitely coming over this way to the west. which isn't unusual typically what happens and this is only part of the flock so I know there's more probably still back over um, the area on my property this is my neighbors over here Well, we're at the midway of the hunt now. Uh, let's just give you a recap of the morning. The morning didn't go so well. Um, even though we set up on the birds that uh, I had found that roosted overnight, um, basically got outsmarted again. They they went around um, to the west of me. Um, actually got in there as close as I could possibly get. I had uh, probably three, four uh, toms just right above me um, as close as I could possibly get in there and they basically flew down into the field and that was it the rest of the birds that came out the big flock just kind of went around me to the west and went out into the field and that was the end of the morning hunt no matter what we did calling wise we couldn't pull them back over um, which is typical so then uh, we went over to uh, Gary's place and um, in the video you see we got a a few jakes come in, one big tom, but couldn't ever get it to come in any closer. So we kind of struck out there as well and then kind of did a little bit of road hunting throughout the afternoon trying to call in something and really wasn't didn't have any luck there either. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm all set up for the evening hunt now. I'm ready to go. I'm kind of tucked in here behind the cedar tree and I got this brush pile around me so I'm hoping I'm pretty well concealed right through here um, thinking that when the birds come in to roost they're probably going to go over there between those brush piles over by those trees so I think I'm in a really good spot to ambush them and they won't be able to see me until they come out into the open so that's the plan plans don't always work out so we're gonna see uh, how this goes. Well, here we go, guys. It's the uh, third evening of the season for me. I'm back out here on the edge of my woods, on the edge of this field. Uh, struck out the other night. I'm going to try it again tonight. Set up in a different spot. I'm going to use my decoy tonight. I'm going to try to call a little bit more and hopefully uh, I can lure one of those big toms over this way uh, before they go into roost. Um, they're already starting to work their way back so this will be a quick hunt if, uh, if I'm lucky enough to get one to come over this way. See what happens. Should be interesting.
ain't looking good. Um, there's a couple of big monsters out there right now. Uh, probably four or five of them still hanging out in the field and uh, I tried calling to them. I don't even know if I got a, maybe I got one gobble back, but that was about it. Um, hens didn't like it too much. They, they probably got a little more irritated than anything, but I can't get those toms to come over. Uh, they're just really hung up over there and it's the same thing in the morning hunt so we'll see maybe as they you know the cold weather maybe had something to do with it hard to say okay guys I'm back in the same spot as I was last night I'm gonna give it another go tonight I'm gonna try to call a little more aggressively tonight try something a little bit different um, also my decoy I've got set up a little bit different I've got my hen uh, out there in like a breeding position so I'm hoping that either A, I can get some of those hens all worked up and get them to come over this way and then they'll bring the toms with them and then those toms will see that that hen over there and want to come over and check it out. So that's the plan for tonight. We'll see how it works. Like I said, I got, only got a few more days left so I gotta got to pull out all the tricks right now. tonight for tonight uh, no luck again getting those gobblers to come over um, I did start calling pretty heavy there I uh, got the hens riled up but uh, couldn't get them to come over this way uh, oh probably had about 30 jakes out in front of me for most of the night um, I don't know I uh, sitting on the ground here for too long I think I'm starting to move a little too much and uh, they can see me so probably next time out I'm gonna be uh, bringing the pop-up blind out so I can be a little bit more comfortable in that uh, not end up spooking the birds uh, second to the last night right now uh, of the season for me hunted pretty hard this morning had the one Tom come in hung up twice on the way in uh, and then hung up again you know the last time at 50 yards and just couldn't get him to come in any closer um, my gun I'm only probably good out to 30 30 uh, 30 to 40 yards um, so held off waited 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 I mean I think we were on him for probably four hours I mean, we really we threw everything at him but the kitchen sink and just couldn't get him to come in so now I'm here in my pop-up blind and what I've done is set my pop-up blind right in the area where uh, the birds come in to roost so I've got my decoy out and I'm going to do a little bit of calling and try and get them to come in a little bit early uh, come into the woods here and hopefully this will be the the time we make it happen tonight um, otherwise I got this blind set up for tomorrow morning uh, I can hopefully maybe after they fly down and uh, start winding their way out to their field maybe catch one uh, here before they make it out there or maybe pull one of them back in uh, into the woods here so
over here by basically just mimicking everything she was doing. And it pissed her right off. Um, I don't think I've ever seen that before, but that was pretty cool. And then those, all those jakes came right with her. Once she got over here, they all got around her and around the decoy, which was pretty cool. My plan there was that I was going to pull her over with the tom, but obviously she didn't have any toms with her. Well, here we go. It's uh, probably about 8 o'clock in the morning now. Got in here, right where they're roosting again. Waited for them to fly down. Most of the toms flew down into the field like they have been. I had a group of them hung up over to my, to my left over here. And just couldn't get them to, to come over. I think at one point I had, it was kind of like a tug of war between my Colin and the hens that were a little further to the to the left of them and that little group of toms was right in between and they hung out there for I don't know 45 minutes or so and I finally just said all right that's enough well here we go guys uh last hunt for me anyway for the season it's Sunday night um, back in my pop-up again and we need a little luck tonight uh, these birds are tough right here um, you'd think with as many birds as I have you'd be able to get a shot at something but uh, they're just tough to hunt they're they're roosting right on the edge of the field and the ones that do come in they're you know they, they got their hens with them and they're going right to their tree to fly up into so Well, there we had it. Uh, pretty much season's over. No birds this year. Um, fortunately, struck out here in my property this year. Um, I don't know what to do ne next year. I, maybe next year I'll ask the neighbor if I if I can hunt his his corner over there. That would have worked out really good this year. So anyway. Um, that'll be my week, week of turkey hunting here on my property and I hopefully enjoyed the video. Um, let me know, um, if there's something that, um, as you watch through this, uh, something I may have done or I could have done better, I mean, obvious, outside the obvious things like, uh, my calling skills. Um, but you know, the way the, the property set up and the way the birds are roosting. Um, if you got any ideas, let me know. I appreciate the comments. So please leave a comment below. If you like videos like this, uh, 
please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click on the little bell. That will notify you when I put out another video. Thanks. And we'll see you in the next video.